Hi, my name is Tom Hardy, and I'm the author and the creator of a new YouTube uh, channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Uh, today I'm looking at the forthcoming UFC 309 between the GOAT, uh, John Bone Jones, and the greatest heavyweight of all time, Stipe, Stipe Miocic. Now, this has become very controversial because of um, a recent interview between uh, John Bone Jones and uh, Kevin Ioli. Let's just go through the frames. Okay, so this is John Bone Jones. This is Stipe Miocic. This is the uh, long-term light heavyweight champion, John Bone Jones, with his world title belt. This is his uh, current status as the greatest of all times, which is now being, I think, questioned by some people. Now, this is the interview between John Bone Jones and uh, Kevin Ioli. And during the interview, John, John made it very plain that if he's successful against Stipe, he doesn't see that he will go down the road of uh, taking a challenge from Tom Aspinall. But Tom Aspinall is the interim champion. He won the inter interim championship match and he won it dazzlingly, convincingly with a first round knockout. Now, a lot of people paid substantial funds to see Tom Aspinall win the interim heavyweight. It can't be legally appropriate or right for a heavyweight to say, I will bypass because that means that that um, interim title fight was just completely fraudulent. It's an absurdity. If, you're, if there's an interim title holder and you're the heavyweight title holder and you've been away for maybe 500 days because of an injury, which obviously he wasn't responsible for, then the honourable thing to do is to say to the UFC, after the match with Stipe, if I'm successful, I will then gladly take the challenge from Tom Aspinall. That's the fair thing to do for the UFC. It's the fair thing for the fans. And it's actually the fair thing for John Jones because he will put his uh, long-term legacy, his status in the eyes of many fans in jeopardy if he chooses to avoid Tom Aspinall. Everyone knows why he would choose um, Pereira over Aspinall. Pereira is easy money for John Jones, as is Stipe. Aspinall will be a real challenge. John Jones knows that, Aspinall knows that, and UFC fans know that. Now, I'm minded of a previous situation. Um, of course, Aspinall will be the stand-in for, for Saturday's fight between Stipe and um, John Jones. Um, very occasionally stand-ins are called to play a role, but I suspect that's not going to happen. Now, I'm, I'm minded, reminded of a particular situation five or six years ago when uh, the champion, uh, Jermaine Durandamy, was instructed to fight um, the awesomely fearsome uh, cyborg. Now, everyone knew that uh, Randamy did not want to fight her, and there were lots of conversations and there were always allusions to the fact that allegedly Cyborg had a background of steroid abuse or misuse. Um, those are all allegations, and I don't know what the legal status, or I'm not suggesting that they're true or not true. But the reality is that as a world champion, she just didn't want to fight this awesome competitor. And the decision that the UFC took was to actually strip her of the title. My thoughts are that a similar fate will await John Jones. If he beats Stipe um, on Saturday at Madison, Madison Square Garden and does not agree to an immediate fight, obviously within a three, six month delay period. If he doesn't agree to have Tom Aspinall as his next opponent, then I think that uh, John Jones should be stripped of the World Heavyweight Championship.